What is up YouTubers? Today I have a very special unboxing uh, for my channel, The Ginge1274. Um, PS Vita Bundle. Awesome. I've been wanting this forever. My friend has it. He's been begging me to get and annoying me about it. Finally got it for Christmas. Awesome. So, out there they have two different kinds of videos. They have the Wii, the oh, sorry, Wi-Fi and the 3G bundle. The Wi-Fi goes around 250 just for the Vita itself. <clears throat> and there's the 3G, which goes about uh, roughly $300, or something like that. I don't know the prices, so don't flip out. i um, doing this all off of memory. So, I got the Vita bundle. That's the Wi-Fi, strictly Wi-Fi, no 3G. And it's the Declassified bundle, the new Call of Duty game that came out with it. Uh, I heard plenty of reviews that say this game's terrible. I have friends that love it, though, so I was like, oh, what the heck. I mean, I'm getting a Vita, and I'm getting a game with it, so... And so, yeah, that's why I got this. Uh, it comes with the black version of the Vita, like the Assassin's Creed bundle that's just like this for Liberation. comes with a white one. I got the black one because it'd probably get less, you'd see less dirt and probably get less dirty. comes with a 4 gigabyte, uh, sorry guys, a uh, 4 gigabyte memory card and Black Ops Declassified. So, woohoo. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see on the back touch screen integration. Dual analog sticks, that's the best thing. I had, I had just bought recently a PSP, so don't laugh at me. I know it's crap. But I had a DS before that, and that was, whoa, that was crap. So I sold it and got a PSP. Pretty freaking awesome PSP. The games are a lot better. But it's only got one analog stick, so you can't do all cool shooters and stuff like that. So I decided to ask for a Vita for Christmas. And I got it. Um, Wi-Fi, uh, not the 3G. Sorry, guys, who wanted the 3G. Um, too expensive for my taste, and not really worth it because you have to pay for it. So let's get this bad boy open. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. PS Vita, cool box cover. I mean, I mean doesn't that look sweet? I mean, so yeah. So this is the game that takes place between. Uh, Black Ops 1 and the new Black Ops. Um, so yeah, um, this is still basically Cold War times, not the futuristic Black Ops 2 thing. So I'm kind of excited to see how that goes. And here, got the Vita, pretty freaking awesome. Got the memory card, Wi Fi, PlayStation's logo, no UPCs. I don't know if you guys can do anything with that, but whatever. Um, Okay, you got stuff telling you about the Vita. It's half in Spanish. I hate when that happens, but gotta market to everybody. Let's pop this open. And here we go. Oh, cool. That's a cool fold down case. Okay, when you first open it up, you got quick start guide in English. I'm um, not really gonna go into a bunch of detail. Um, sorry, guys, but it's just the way it is. The Huge guy, I don't want to read all this right now, I'll probably read it later. Um, using the screen controls, how to pause a game and all that jazz. So yeah, that's the English version, and then you go below it, and there is the Spanish version. I'm definitely not going to read that. Oh my goodness, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the Vita, guys. I'm oh, sorry. This is the Vita. Um, come in this little, like, cheap bubble wrap package. Break this out. Oh, I'm so excited. And sweet. Oh, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So much bigger. Dual analog sticks. They are very, very sensitive. Buttons. You got your touchpad on the back. Um, like, I guess, little hand grips or something. Your camera. See so here you got the volumes, you got an extra little thing right here, I don't think they know what that is for. This is where your games go, um, again bear with me, I don't really know much about this. Um, power button it looks like, yeah that's the power button, sorry. There's the power button, left and right triggers, um, I got another thing to help with that. Um, like the PS button you'd have on your controller, you would have, you have your... Uh, start and select buttons right there so that's pretty cool charging outlet and headphone jack pretty freaking awesome all that stuff 
Okay, to keep adding on to the features, touchscreen sensitive back, you can like canoe and stuff in games like that. You got touchscreen front and black ops to classify. I know you touch for care packages and stuff like that, so um weight, that's a big issue. Um not that bad of weight. Nice kind of feel in your fingers, like your fingers like kinda of hard to show you, but like mine rests right in the middle of the pad, so it's kinda of hard to use these grips on the side. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's get going. Let's put this back in the package. Keep it safe. Don't want to drop it. Um, oh, it doesn't fit. That's what she said. Okay, so you can see it's kind of a cheap, not even bubble wrap. I mean, come on, come on, Sony. You're making us pay two fifty, and you don't even give us a bubble wrap. Oh, great! You don't even get a case with the game. That sucks. Um, Got the declassified cartridge. I'm glad this is not uh, UMDs from PlayStation or from the PSP. They were terrible. They made so much noise. This is supposed to be really quiet. Four gigabyte um, memory card. Sorry. Um, <coughs> four gigabyte memory card. These are freaking expensive. It's like a hundred dollars for well, I don't know, like a thirty gigabyte or something. I don't know something, some high, but it's a ridiculous price. I know it's because it's so small. Sony wants to get their money out of it. On the back, you got a, the Black Ops logo, because it's with Black Ops, I guess. So, then you have protection plan, memory card, instructions. Um, let's see, oh, I'll it. Play cards, I guess. I don't know what those are. Probably learn about it when I read the quick start guide. Like I said, don't want to get too much information. Just trying to keep this one short for you guys. Um... Looks like you got this is got a USB. Let's pull this out. It's a USB end for the Vita, so it looks like plug into the computer or something like that. Um, pretty nice and neat if you want to plug it up to your computer, I guess. And you got your charging brick. Uh, this fits into your charging brick right there. So pretty freaking sweet. This charges it. I guess you guys already know that. Um, okay. More paper to read. Uh, health and safety guide for it so they don't get sued. Um, anything else? Nope. Nothing in that box. Oh, jeez. Just broke the box. Okay, guys. So that's the, that's the end of that. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. I'm back. So as you can see, I packed it up. I'm kind of a neat freak. Trying to keep this.